Understanding China, the Population and Climate Divide The Earth is home to more than 8 billion people. But for a variety of reasons, the world's inhabitants are not evenly distributed around the globe. China is the second most populous country in the world. It makes up more than 17% of the global population. But where in China do all these people live? And how does geography affect this? To answer that question, in the mid-1930s, a Chinese academic named Hu Huangyong wrote a paper titled Distribution of China's Population. He presented a conceptual explanation that makes the unequal distribution of China's population easy to understand and visualize. He defined an imaginary line that separates China into two parts. The line starts in Heihe at the northern border of Heilongjiang province and runs southwest to Tengchong in Yunnan province on the border with Myanmar. Known as the Heihe Tengchong Line, it is also sometimes called the Hu Huanyong Line to honor its creator, or even simply the Hu Line. Look at this map of the population distribution. The great majority of people live to the southeast of the line. In fact, the population distribution contrast is stunning. Using current statistics, the Northwest makes up 57% of China's land area, but holds only 6% of its population, while the Southeast is 43% of the area, it is home to the vast majority of people, 94%. Clearly, there must be reasons for this unequal distribution of the population. Yes, there are. In an easy-to-grasp manner, the line illustrates underlying topographical and climatic influences on the suitability of an area to support a large number of inhabitants. For example, look how the topography of China reveals rugged areas and deserts that discourage population growth. Likewise, annual rainfall can be a factor in the suitability of land for agriculture. On this map, we can see that the area northwest of the line is generally dry and arid whereas the blue-tinted areas in the southeast show an abundance of rainfall. Although the Heihe Tengchong line was originally intended to show population distribution, people have adopted the line to illustrate all sorts of data related to China. Maps available on the internet illustrate this line over data related to rail lines, highways, locations where patents have been obtained, and even nighttime light sources. But much of this data merely shows byproducts of higher concentration of residents. In summary, although first discussed over 80 years ago, the Heihe Tengchong line remains an important conceptual tool for understanding China's people, culture, and economy.